Hey, what is up everyone? This is Kieran here. Welcome back again to Tekken YouTube channel. This is Ancient OS latest 6.1 version which includes a lot of customizations, a very different unique UI. Let's just talk about it, bit of it. Let's just talk about. First of all, of course, the UI has a lot of changes. For example, it has a new about phone UI, about phone settings and a lot more things. This looks quite interesting. Some users will like it, some users will not, of course, but it's all about user's preference. If you like it, you can give it a try. It includes that, it includes a lot of interesting things too. Other settings UI includes the normal things by the way, for example the settings, features etc kind of same but you can see at the bottom you have different kind of tabs or menu some things like that where you can customize your device. This is something really interesting and I didn't think, I don't think any other custom room implemented this yet. Let's just find out. If you're able to see the control center or quick settings panel, you can see it's something different from other Android 12 based custom homes so far, whatever I have tried so far. This is something different, you can, you can customize this quick setting tiles and the style, brightness slider, a lot more things you can customize. So yes, that's quite good. Let's just talk about some customizations in brief. Unlike same like Vesiva, well, same like Android version 12 and CentOS 6.0, the customization seems to be same, status bar, themes, quick settings, buttons, etc. The things are quite same. The sub menus are kind of same of course, but when we open this, you'll see some different settings, some different customizations, but things are basically same. Let's see. The best thing in Android 12 custom rooms or maybe in Instant OS also even Synthra OS Octavius also gave this, I think if I'm not wrong, the custom themes for you. If you don't want to use the wallpaper monet theming, you can even use your custom themes, custom colors. So that's quite good and as expectedly, it's also available in the Instant OS latest version and the previous version too. Some things in customizations includes the quick settings related customizations. The quick settings I've already shown you by the way at the start of the video, the quick settings was looking good. And you can customize that, the tiles you can customize, you can customize the clock style, you can customize a lot of things with this one. Of course, it's all about user's preference if you want to customize your device or not, but it looks better. I think so, it's just my opinion, good thing. As expected, you can even customize the status bar also, like status bar layout and the same like Instant OS 5.0 version which was based on Android version 11. It also has uh, the dual, st dual status bar kind of things and some interesting status bar layout styles. With some status bar styles, I don't like that but some are quite good like dual bar but it's all about user's preference as we always say, you can customize this. One thing they should have changed about is the launcher. The launcher is still the Pixel launcher. Instant OS has a lot of customizations. Maybe they'll implement their own launcher in the upcoming updates. But right now, the Pixel launcher is still in bit. Even launcher launcher has better customizations for you. So that is also an option. You can give it a try if you want to. Otherwise, I am using it on Redmi Note 10 Pro. So if you're also user of Redmi Note 10 Pro, you have device specific settings for you. Don't worry about that. You can simply change the refresh rate if you want to direct sound enhancer is also there and including that dc dimming which is quite useful where i have used it in project elixir to control the brightness and screen flickering unfortunately they didn't implement it face unlock yet but it's up to you if you want to check it out you can fingerprint is there but face unlock is not there we're gonna look for this very soon right now this thing is not available even app locker is not there but in the upcoming updates, we might see this. These are things I just wanted to let you know. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.